Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Nana N, my name is Lynn. If you're new, a very warm welcome to you and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Now, um, today's video is going to be bits of this and bits of that. Uh, there's definitely going to be a Tesco shop in it, I know that for sure. Um, so I thought I'd just start off by showing you what I'm wearing today. I'm only um, going shopping to Tesco for a food shop and then straight back and then doing some filming, etc, etc. So I'm not dressed up. My hair needs cutting, so I've just put it up out of the way. My fringe is in my eyes. I haven't really got much makeup on, but I'm dressed. <laughs> so I've got these are um, like stone coloured jeans and they're actually um a pair of jeans um they're, they're like chino jeans do you know what i mean by that they're not jeans jeans and they're quite a bit stretchy and i must have had these for about three years and i know that i originally got them from tesco so i will be keeping an eye out to see if they ever get any more in because they're ever so comfortable and they're just kind of like a straightish leg zip up the front with a button it's got um they've got i can put a belt on if i want to and i've just put it on with me um jumper the camel or caramel color some people are calling it plain jumper the one with the gold buttons on that you've seen before um uh, trusted necklace from next my earrings uh my gold ones with the little pearl on the end and i'll show you my uh, trainers these trainers they're called super ga not super gap super ga and uh, they're like the old-fashioned pumps if you will but they've got like a decent a decent um sole on and the um yeah they've just got the logo on the back and on the side there but they're super comfy super ga now i got them from tesco and my daughter came and she went "Ooh, look at you trendy <laughs> so what do you mean she said those trainers are trendy she said i want some of those anyway she did she bought herself a pair but they're, they're exactly the same but they're a boot um, because she's going on um, a trip to Lisbon, is it, in Portugal? In about 10 days um, with a partner. And they're going to be doing a lot of walking about. So she's bought herself a pair, but they are really, really comfortable. So that is my outfit of the day. These at one point were very tight on me. They are not tight no more. In fact, I have to keep pulling them up. But I'll get, um, I, I don't intend to lose any more weight. I, I don't know why I'm losing it. But anyway, I think it's just cutting out the bread. So if you think watching me get up to this, that and the other is something that you might be interested in, ooh, make yourself a cuppa. Not tea, it's cappuccino. But I've just um, started getting what's it called decaffeinated so it's there's no sweetener in it and it's decaffeinated so make yourself a cuppa put your feet up relax and watch me do whatever it is i'm going to do because i don't even know myself yet except for the tesco shop so i'll see you there might be a car vlog in between and then i'll see you when i get back show you what i've been buying I'll try and be good. Hello, everybody. I'm just, um, I've just been to Tesco and I'm just on my way home. So I thought what I'd do is just have a little catch up vlog with everybody. Uh, and I'll let you know that oh nobody stops to let you out you know we used to be quick anyway 
I have been to Tenerife for 10 days. It is Saturday morning and um, we got back very, very late um, Thursday night, Friday morning. So uh, I haven't been home very long. And I didn't feel like going shopping yesterday. So I've just been and done a bit of a shop uh, and I'll show you what I've got when I get home. Anyway, the reason, and I haven't filmed any of the holiday, I hope you won't be um, annoyed with me for that, for doing that, but because of being poorly, you know, at Christmas and after, um, and then I worked hard to get videos up so that um, a video would still go up while I've been away. Uh, I just wanted to chill out and enjoy the sunshine and have a nice rest. And not only that, we stayed at the same hotel, the Tigatan, Friends and Lovers in um, Las Americas. And we stayed there in October last year. Did we? Yeah. When was it? Oh, I can't remember now. Where are we now? We're in, yeah, October. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, the reason that I didn't video this holiday and this hotel again is because I've already done it once. And people don't want to see the same thing. And to be fair, um, the hotel's entertainment was more or less the same as it was last time that we went. Uh, but the weather was very nice. Um, we did have a lot, quite a lot of sunny periods, but we also had some hazy sunshine. So, but that was welcome sometimes because sometimes you can get a bit too hot, can't you? So we had a lovely time. We went for ten days, um, and um, yeah, I'm back. And it's Saturday morning. Well, lunchtime now. So um, I thought I'll go and do a Tesco shop. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, um, have a cooking afternoon and cook meals that I'm probably going to um, eat all week. Well, not all week, but you know what I mean. So that I'm not cooking every day because we do intend to carry on now with um, the little entryway. And uh, the day that we came, we came back on the Thursday night, so that was late Thursday night. Yesterday... Harvey screened all the floor ready with latex to level it and stop any dust coming up. So now we're kind of like ready for laying the tiles so that's going to be the next project. So uh, and it's Mother's Day tomorrow so I don't want to be filming on Mother's Day so but I did buy one or two things in Tenerife that will be appropriate for the capsule wardrobe that I'm trying to build up and um, I've just might have got something when I was in Tesco might have done might have got something at the airport on my way home <laughs> I'm relentless aren't I but when you see what I've got I haven't spent loads of money or anything like that uh, and I think you'll just say yes I can see why you bought that lean. <laughs> so we'll see. Somebody's trying to call me. Oh, it's Joe. Just hang on a minute. So that was... Um, I had to stop the video then because Joanna was ringing me. She said, I've just driven past you and waved at you. <laughs> Don't see anybody. Never see anybody on this on when I'm driving because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. That's why. So it's just cost me <gasps> £91 in Tesco. And I, I, I didn't feel like I'd got a lot, but I'll tell you I'll tell you something. Um just recently, well not just recently, for a long time now, I get up in the morning, my tummy is more or less flat. By the time I go to bed, I don't know if I haven't mentioned this on the video, I'm like I'm six months pregnant or even more, like I'm ready to drop a baby. 
Anyway, just before I went on holiday, I think I said to you I was trying to eat healthier and this somebody wants to get it back in my car here driving too close. I wanted to eat healthier and so what I was going to do was oof, um, cut out bread and I did do. Anyway, when we got to the airport, uh, going out on holiday, I decided off the menu that I'd have the very light breakfast it is and you like get one of everything like one sausage one piece of bacon one egg but you get toast and it looks so good when it came I had to eat it and then we went in and got one of those meal deals and I'm gonna let this person pass if I can one of those meal deals and um, that was bread so immediately, more or less immediately, it kicked my stomach off. So I'm not 100% sure, because I don't think you can be, but I'm wondering if it's, it's either an intolerance to wheat or an intolerance to gluten. So when I've just, I, I don't know anything about gluten-free products, which is good, which is bad. No idea, because I've never eaten any. Anyway. I've just decided that I've I've had a right good look at the gluten-free bread in Tesco and I've been squashing it, feeling it to see if it's soft enough and I've picked one. So when I go home now, I'm going to make myself some toast and um, see if it sets my stomach off. If it doesn't, then I'm obviously intolerant to either the wheat or the gluten. But I've, there's gluten in a lot of things, not just bread. So I think, I don't know. Has, does anybody else know what's going on with my stomach? Because <laughs> I don't. But I was diagnosed with IBS many, many, many years ago. So I've always had like trouble with my tummy. But, and I've always, whenever I've gone on holiday, wherever I've gone in the world and I've been all over I've always been in my room for at least two days with a bad tummy needed doctors sometimes when I've had like Compalobacter or whatever the hell it's called anyway um, for the first time ever this time uh, I haven't had a bad stomach and I haven't eaten bread the whole time I've been there but I have eaten a bit of cake that's got gluten in because obviously it's got flour in it. Okay, everybody. So I'm back from Tesco. I did a little car vlog on the way home. So um, I'll probably pop that in. So you'll have seen that by the time you see this. So I'll get going with it. It was all together. It cost me £91.14. Oh. Anyway, I got some Tesco Spring Fresh Fabric Conditioner. That was £1.65. I got um, two pints of semi skimmed milk. That's for making me yogurt with. So that was £1.20. And then that's just for normal use. That's the filtered milk that I like to get in the big um, uh, two litre pack. And that is good till the 6th of April. So that's why I get that because it lasts a long time and then I got my almond uh, milk £1.25 unsweetened uh, I've been using this uh, for porridge and then put in um, when I make my own yogurt I either have it for my breakfast or I have it as a pudding sometimes I have it both <laughs> And if uh, I'm having it as a pudding after my tea, I, t I try and have something different for breakfast, but not always. But I have been used, uh, making porridge uh, and I make it with almond milk because there's less calories in it and it's better for you. So that was £1.25. And then I got some of this um, Tesco Daily Shower Cleaning Spray. I hate cleaning my shower. Oh, it's one of those jobs, you know, that you don't look forward to. And so... I've seen the beautiful Maxine Georgina using this on her shower and she says it's marvellous so I'm going to give it a go. So 
for um that was 85p i'm going to try it see if it works i got some sax salt for one pound 75 need to keep filling up the salt um and then i got some te uh, tesco mango chutney 99 pence so i'm going to make a curry chicken curry uh so to make the chicken curry i got a uh, patax medium bolty sauce i love chicken tikka bolty but i love just even chicken bolty so that was um it should have been two pound 15 but it was minus um 61 pence so it was only one pound oh no anyway i don't know could have been two pound 15 i think that one then I got Tesco's Finest Sun-Dried Tomatoes and Red Wine Concentrate Sauce. There's something else that I'm going to be cooking. I also got some red kidney beans, Tesco kidney beans, because I'm going to make a chilli. They were uh, 95 pence. I got three tins of Marifat peas. They were 55 pence each, so I don't know. I, yeah, £1.65 for three three of those uh sometimes we have a bit of marmalade or on toast uh, well i don't but somebody else does and um i just got that stock well so i don't know if it's any good or not won't get eaten if it's not i thought we could try it and it was only 79 pence for that and then i got uh ben's uh original chili con carne medium sauce two pound thirty so i'll be using that in the chili so that was that then i got some nightingale um peppers because i'm going to be doing the sweet chili chicken chicken sizzler so i got that for them i got a packet of tesco mashed potatoes that was uh one pound 25 but it would have been three for two but I'm not going to have a lot of room in the freezer. So I thought, well, I better not get them just in case I can't fit it in. So it doesn't matter. And then I got some of these 12 port British chipolatos, £3.25. We like these, they're nice. So I'll probably have that with the mash and some peas. And then I got a gammon joint, £4.75. One lady asked me, would I show her how to do it? So I'm going to do that in the kasori, but on the slow cooker setting. So um, I'll show that I'll, probably within another video because in itself it, it, it would only take two minutes. So I'll be showing you that, the lady that asked me. <laughs> so yeah, that was £4.75. But that will do us for at least two meals, possibly sandwiches for a day as well. So it's, it's not too bad. But it's so, so tasty. Um, and then I got two boneless salmon fillets, £4.85. They weren't on offer or anything, but I really, really fancied some, so I had to get them. Yeah. And then I got uh, Tesco lean minced steak, 5% fat, 4 99 for 750 grams. So that's going to be used for my chilli. And then I got some uh, chicken breasts because I'm going to be doing um a chicken curry and i'm going to be doing the sweet chili chicken and i'm going to be doing a uh, chicken stir fry so i got um quite a few one two three four five i think there's six or seven chicken breasts in there so i'll be splitting that up and that was six pound 29 for those i got some harvest uh the growers harvest uh porridge oats and that's not for porridge it's for something that i've seen that i'm going to try because of the gluten-free thing that I'm trying to do at the moment, I've got myself a cappuccino. I've seen a recipe, and I'm going to try it, where you use oats instead of flour to make like um, a tortilla, you know, like a, not a pancake as such, like a tortilla, tor tortilla wrap, like a wrap. You know what I mean. I hope you do anyway. I know what I mean. So, yeah, I'm going to try that. So, I'll show you that when I do it. I got some Tesco French fries. Where are they? 
Here they are, big pack for the freezer. They last us ages then. And then I got for the stir fry, teriyaki sauce. I usually make my own. I've got about five of these in the fridge. I probably have a or oh, 27th of April. Oh, anyway, I'll, I'll taste it, see if I like it. That was one pound fifteen with this, but the stir fry deal. Can't remember how much it was now. It was three pounds something for your sauce, either rice or noodles, and then your stir fry. Um, so I got two of these, ninety pence each. I got uh, the ten cal jelly that I use when I do um, uh, my yogurt as a pudding. I got a strawberry one and I got a raspberry one, 90 pence each, but I only ever use half. So that's not too uh, too expensive. And then I got me a stir fry veg for the um, chicken stir fry. I got so I wanted some, uh, what do they call it? Is it pe pe pepperoni? But they didn't have any for some reason. So I had to get this, and I don't even know if we'll like it. Well, I won't be eating it, so I'm going to make some pizza. Like, I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to make some kind of pizza type thing. <laughs> so though, that was a pound for those. So on the same theme, mozzarella grated cheese mix, £2.55 for 200 grams. Expensive, that, isn't it? Yes, it is. I got some um, for the curry, uh, Tilda Hilawa um, Basmati rice. I got two of those. Um, so they were one pound each and I got two. I got some Tesco baby potatoes. Uh, they were one pound 20. And then they had something off, I think, minus 29. Oh, no, that was the meal deal. And then I got um, some Tesco raspberry trifles, three of. Tesco ripe bananas, a pack of those, five in. Got some Walker's Bugles, not for me. Might have an odd one. All right. Uh, they were one pound twenty-five. This is what I'm going to make the pizzas with. These ciabatta square things. I'm going to cut them in half, make pizzas, and uh, freeze them. So I'll show you that when I do it. I uh, got some. We've already got six, so I just got another six Tesco free-range large eggs. They were one pound eighty-five. I got some broccoli, which was eight eighty-two pence. I love it. It's really expensive, I think. Some, um, I got these tomatoes for the pizzas. Because I don't, I don't usually buy those, but I got them because they're easy to slice, aren't they, if you want to make a pizza. So I got those. They were 95 pence. I got some blueberries that were £1.59 that I'm going to be freezing and putting in my little bags like I do in the freezer. And I also got some Tesco strawberries. I'll be doing the same with those. Some little puddings. Then I, I'm going to try this gluten free bread. So, in a minute, I'm going to toast it a couple of slices, see if I like it, see if it makes me bloat. Well, and if it does, I don't know. Somebody else will eat it. If that makes me bloat, then it's obviously not the gluten, is it? But it could be the wheat because there will be wheat in there, will there? I'll have a look after. I'll have a look. And that was £3.60. Oh, £3.60 for that. Then I got some sweet corn as my treats. One of these of a night time. 71 calories a packet. So I got some poppadoms for the curry. I got some nan breads for the curry the poppadoms were 99 and these were 69 and i'm sure it said it did it say gluten-free might not have done anyway whatever 
69 pence. I got a Warburton's Law. Still £1.40. I got some uh, Nesco Cappuccino sachets, unsweetened, decaffeinated. Uh, but I put them in the cupboard, so you know what they look like. They were should have been £2.10 and uh, they were £1.65, so minus 45p. I got some Skinny Crunch um, salted caramel for a treat for me. They are 70 calories for one. Now, a lady did suggest freezing them because she said you'll take one out to defrost uh, and just eat that one. Whereas if you just keep them in the cupboard, you tend to go back and have another. So I think that's a good idea. So I might do that because I am easily tempted. <laughs> and I thought I'd try these. Never seen them before. They probably have them. I just haven't seen them. These are 86 calories each. And the milk chocolate rice cakes. So they're the rice cakes with some chocolate on. I don't like the rice cakes on their own, but I might like them with chocolate on. So I'm going to give those a go. And I also always put one of these mixes in with my chilli con carne, and that was 95 pence. So, and I'll put a tin of tomatoes in that I already have. So that'll be my chilli. That was um, 95 I also got some uh, raspberry and white chocolate, skinny crunch things, £1.15. Uh, Jaffa cakes for anybody that comes to visit, £1.35. And I also have some more biscuits in there. I got my little Ida. She's, she's not allowed a lot of toffee or sweets or chocolates or anything like that. So I just got her this tiny little one. Because I've got it something else, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and it's Cadbury's Easter egg, white chocolate and buttons. There's only 80 grams of buttons in it. Uh, oh, it's 98 grams altogether. Uh, £1.50. I have to get a one, don't I, bless her. Uh, I got my natural um, live culture yoghurt. This time I got this Yayo Valley. That was uh, 19, uh, 85 pence. So that'll go with me. Two pints of milk to make me yogurt. I got some Colgate Triple Action because it was on offer, 99 pence. And I got some of these dark chocolate biscuits for anybody that comes to have a cuppa or whatever. They were £1.85 minus 28 pence. So that was my shop and all that. Originally was 95.15, but savings four pounds in a penny, so it came to 91 pound 14, and I got 91 uh, club card points for that shop. Then, you know what's coming? It's always the same on my channel. I spotted something. This, look, it's, you know that ribby stuff, but it's so soft, it's unbelievable. And this was only £7, and I got it in a size medium. And it's got like the crinkly edge on round the short sleeve and the crinkly edge round the bottom. I quite like that. So you can't beat, can you, a white, little white T-shirt for summer when it comes, when it arrives. <laughs> So for £7, I thought, I'm not passing that up. I'll get one of those. So that's that. And then I got this little number, which was £10. Linen rich. It's the softest. Look at it. You can tell, can't you? Look, ooh, really soft and flowy. Very, very lightweight. And um, I'll show it you close up. Can you see what kind of material it is oh it's so soft and it's my colors look could it even go with these wouldn't it go with jeans go with all me you know my comfy pants that i wear yeah so 
Yeah, ten pound and seven pounds. So I didn't break the bank, did I? But I think there'll be nice additions to my wardrobe. And I did, I did take two big bags full the last time I went to Tesco. Put them in the charity bins, as you know, when I've been decluttering. So I've only fetched two back. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to put all my shopping away now and then depending on what I get up to and how long this video is, this is probably enough on its own with the car vlog um, and then I'm going to be filming this afternoon, I'm probably going to be filming, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, pr not prep, I'm going to actually cook all the teas, so I'm going to be putting no, I won't do that till tomorrow now. It's a bit late. It's only 20 to 3. I'll do the gammon tomorrow. But I think I'm going to do the chilli. Cook that. Portion it up. Freeze it. I think I'm going to do the chicken stir fry. And that will do probably our tea twice. And also the sweet... Um, Chicken sizzler with the sweet chilli sauce and the peppers. I'm going to make that and freeze that. So that's quite a few teas. And I'm going to make my toast, see what that tastes like. Chop my fruit up, get that frozen. And um, yeah, see what I get up to after that because... As well as that, over this weekend, I want to do the film where I do um, one pair of jeans, seven ways. Seven. Seven. Yeah, so fingers crossed. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, if this is the end, which I think it's going to be, I'll do an ending now and then. I'd like to say a massive thank you if you stayed till the end. And if you enjoy a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of the other, please, and you're not subscribed, please would you consider doing so? I've done awfully well, honestly. All the time I've been away. Do you know what it is? It's the fashion videos. They seem to get the most new subscribers. So um, I'm thinking that when I do my jeans seven ways, that that's going to bump it up even more. I only need 120. I'm, I'm at 3,825, am I? I think. Yeah, so I, I'm to done well. Done so well. It's unbelievable. When I look at my subscribers, how many new ones I've got in a month. Sometimes it's a bit slow and it just grows, you know, just a few here and then a few drop off and then a few more. Because what happens is you get bots that aren't real people. So your subscribers' numbers might go down a few, but it's because YouTube have taken out all the box. I don't even know really what a bot is. I know it's not a real person. But why would a bot subscribe to a YouTube channel? I don't, I don't understand what, what they get out of that, if you know what I mean. If anybody knows, let me know. Because I have absolutely no idea what the bot thing is all about. So, yeah, thank you spending some of your precious time with me um i've missed filming while i've been away um because yeah you'll have you, you'll have seen the vlog by now <clears throat> on the way back the car vlog on the way back from tesco where i explained to you that i'd uh, been away to tenerife and i didn't do any filming i just chilled out and rested and i needed it <coughs> the air cons give me a cough but I didn't show you this, or you have to see this, wait a minute, don't go whatever you do, you need to see it, right, this is what I've got Ida as well, as well as a <coughs> Easter egg, now listen to it, hello, my name's Jerry. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. It really means the world to me. It really means the world to me. 
And if you're not subscribed, would you consider doing so? And if you're not subscribed, would you consider doing so? It even talks with your accent. It even talks with your accent. <laughs> <laughs> I've switched it off. Oh, I've had some fun with that, honestly. Some real fun with that. So, my little eye is going to absolutely love that. I'm going to pretend it can talk for a bit. She'll be she'll be quick on. She'll soon realise it can't. She probably already knows it can't. But anyway, how wonderful is that? So she's going to get that. And she's going to get that little egg. So at least she's got a bit of chocolate, hasn't she? Bless her. But I think she'll like that more. <laughs> I like it. I play with it. There's going to be no battery left on it anyway. So, yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I've called him Jerry the Giraffe. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to Jerry. And fingers crossed, see you on the next one. So, bye for now. Lots of love to everybody.